I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on probability distribution. The question is, find the mean or expectation of sum of numbers when two fair dice are thrown. So let's draw what happens when two fair dice are thrown. So on each die you have numbers from 1 to 6, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the other one will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, correct? So 6 face dies. We are considering this to be a fair dice and sum of numbers means we'll add them up, right? So when you add these numbers, what do you get? So let's write down. 1 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3 and then we get 4, 5, 6, 7, 2 plus 1 is 3, I'm sorry this is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 and then we get 2 plus 2 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3 plus 1 is 4, then we get 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 plus 1 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then we get 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in our sample space, you can see that is the sample space for us. Now in our sample space, we have numbers from 2 to 12. So that is the sample space. Now, what we, are, we want to find? We want to find mean or expectation of sum of numbers when two fair dice are thrown. So, so we have, let's say x is the random variable, right? So x is the random variable, which could have these possible values, 2 to 12. So it could have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 and 12, these 12 values. Now to find the mean or expectation of the sum, we have to find probability of each. Okay, So what is the probability of getting 2? So let's write down the probabilities for each small x i is, right? So small x is, right? That's what we need to find. Now what is the probability of getting 2? So how many 2's are there? So let's begin with 2. So we have only 1 2, is that okay? So the probability for 2 is 1 out of 6 times 6, which is 36. So 1 out of 36, okay? Now let's use the other ring to find probability of getting 3. So you see 3, there are two 3's here. Is that okay? So the probability of getting 3 is 2 out of 36. Probability for 4, 4, we have these 3 4s. So that is 3 out of 36. Actually, I should have made a table like this. Anyway, so what you find here is that probability of each number is kind of increasing, right? So for 5 is 4 out of 36. For 6, it is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 36. For 7, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 36. And then for 8, there are 5 8s, right? So 5 out of 36. For 9, there are 4 9s. 4 out of 36. As far as 10 is concerned, we have three of them, 36. For 11s, we have two of them, two out of 36. And for 12, we just one, so one out of 36. So these are their probabilities. To find the mean or the expected value of this probability distribution, we need to multiply them, right? So, so that's what we'll do now to find mean, we say mu, or expected value of this is actually equals to sum of these probabilities, say xi, pi, right? So in our case, 
the value of i is from 2 to 12. Do you see that? So that is what we have and we'll just multiply them and add them up to get the answer. So what we get this as 2 times 1 over 36. So we'll say 2 times 1 over 36 plus 3 times 2 over 36 plus 4 times 3 over 36 plus 5 times 4 over 36 plus 6 times 5 over 36. So there is a pattern which you see. Is it okay? Plus 7 times 6 over 36 plus 8 times now this number starts decreasing. 8 times 5 over 36 plus 9 times 4 over 36 plus 10 times 3 over 36 plus 11 times 2 over 36 plus 12 times 1 over 36. So you have to add them up to get your expected value, right? So, so basically in the denominator you have 36, correct? So common denominator is 36. We can write this as 36. And the numerator here is their product, right? So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 6 times 5 is 30, 7 times 6 is 42, plus 40, plus 36, plus 30, plus 22, plus 12. Is it okay? So all this divided by 36. This is what you get, right? So let's add them up, right? So we have, uh, okay, let's put it here. So we have 2 plus 6 plus 12 plus 20 plus 30 plus 42 plus 40. Then we have uh, plus 36 plus 30 plus 22 plus 12 equals to divide this by 36, right? and you get this as equal to 7. So that is the expected value of this game, right? So therefore, we can write down our answer. And the answer is that the expected value is 7, right? So the expected value or mean, we also say this as mean, so we can say expectation is 7 in this particular experiment. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.